model you've got there. Uh, no doubt, Yael is a great model. She's not only a diving instructor, but she's also quite a fish. This is Yael. Beautiful Yael. So Sharon, what is what is, it, what is it about underwater fashion photography that you like so much? Well, Razi, underwater photography enables you not only to document the scene, but also to create the scene. To actually create something underwater that you can bring another dimension into. I like to create a third dimension in the reality underwater by creating something that has never been there before. Something from our everyday life, but first introduced underwater. Underwater photography is based on a very difficult and complex element, the human being. The human being is the model, the, the breather, the one who provides the air, the assistant lighter, and everyone are interacting with you underwater. Working with human beings is never as simple as working with fish. So, there's a lot of planning involved, a lot of preparations, a lot of briefing, a lot of talking, a lot of communicating. Let's watch a short video clip demonstrating the preparation that required for such a setting established underwater. So how do you do underwater fashion photography? Can you tell us a bit about the setup there? First we have the eye in the bottle. Yeah, the model, she's a diving instructor. She's very good in water skills, she has great water skills, and in addition, she's also very, very calm underwater, which is extremely important for an underwater model. Then, we have Guy, who provides her with air. Hello, Guy. Guy is basically in charge of the air safety underwater. And this is what makes his role so important. And it's really important that he's a trained diver. That he knows what he's doing underwater. And that he knows that his only responsibility is the air's safety and well-being. Here on my back. You can see Paula. Paula is the assistant diver which is in charge of anything that has to do with lighting. She's holding a slave flash in her hand and providing additional lighting and creative lighting to the image. And what methods of communication do you make use of among the team? Well, all communications are agreed upon before the dive. So, for instance, Yael was just now asking Guy to put her a mask. She was pointing at her mask, at her eyes, to ask Guy for the mask. Now, I can tell Guy, please take off Yael's mask. Or, I can tell Guy, please signal to Yael that she needs to improve her facial expression. Let's try it out. Sharon, can we see things in action? No, we can definitely try, Razi. Let's give it a try. Her legs are tied up. Is it uh, even a little bit dangerous doing this? It's a good question, Razi, and you know what? Underwater fashion photography is really a matter of being careful underwater. It can turn dangerous if you're not careful underwater. So, for instance, it's all about your L. It's all about your L's safety and well-being. Guy is responsible for nothing else but providing Yael with air and anything else that she needs. In addition, 
we have to choose a very proper and well-trained model otherwise it's very dangerous to take her underwater and position her in such a scene another thing you need to take into consideration is her physical limits if your L is cold out of air or just uncomfortable we must finish the dive we will never stay any longer than an L can allow us to do it's all about her eventually Sharon, uh, Patrick, and Andy, and all your friends here in Fotokina, Köln, uh, are very enjoying this broadcasting you are making from the Satil in Elat, 20 meters below. I'm really happy to hear that very much. Thank you very much. This is really fun for us as well. Hey, Sharon. <laughs> Pilo! Pilo! Hi, Pilo! <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you are great. You did a great job. I just wanted to say you did a, a great job. Say hello to all the team. And we are waiting for you, your items for tomorrow. Bye. So, thank you, Pilo. And this concludes our second day of Epsom Red Sea live broadcast at the Photokina 2010 fair. However, tomorrow we have very interesting items. Our next live broadcast is going to be carried out tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. We're going to be releasing laboratory raised seahorses to the open sea for the first time. This will be the first encounter of these laboratory seahorses with the Red Sea. This is Sharon Reynes for Epsom Red Sea. Live broadcasting in full HD from the bottom of the Red Sea, Elat, Israel. Thank you very much and see you tomorrow.